likes Japan. Well, oh really? <laughs> well, I did grow up in Japan. Okay. You know? Arigato. 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 Yeah. Uh, <laughs> konnichiwa. Yeah. I'm, I can never be more happy in my Friday nights. Wolf and Nice on the desk. Now we're back in game number two. Oh my. <laughs> can TNC protect this game and take it to game number three? Well, we'll find out. Let's go. I can't. Arigato. <laughs> because, are you <laughs> serious? Yeah, because. <laughs> why? Why is it always Francis, man? Yeah, oh. man. Yeah, it is always the curve. <laughs> <laughs> Arigato. Not the response I was expecting here, yeah. right? But jumping back to the game, one thing I want to point out too is uh, we've got TNC. It looks like Innocent decided to go with the pretty much two. They have two purifies, right? Escalera and Innocent, and I think mm -hmm. they're going to definitely need that. But still. If Echo lays, uh, overlays pretty much the CC they have available to them, which we've seen them do plenty of times, I don't think that's going to be an, you know enough to keep you alive here, especially now for Innocent. You're only relying on that little dash you have, pretty much. Yeah. Carlthese used that retribution to, to secure the Lethal Wanderer. So this delays a bit of millisecond against TNC for the first turtle of the game. Also, he rotates faster, just like this, pokes in the mid lane. Yeah, should uh, equate to nothing here. Still, the advantage in TNC's favor. They're going to find Carl TZ, though. Could be looking possibly for some poke before they transition to that turtle here. In about 15 seconds, everybody going to go ahead and reset for now. Trying to get that level four to give them that advantage. Okay. It's not easy to take out the Naden, but once you get on top of the Naden and after the ultimate, yeah, you do. It says very squishy hero. But um, because of the fact that you have the ultimate to kind of swap together, yep. um, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's not the easiest to go around with. But like I said, once you get on top of him, it's going to be very, it's going to be easy task. Oh, so, well, there's Yawi with that play. We've seen him do time and time again. Nice way the Dragon Flicker combination gives him the number advantage. Now they're going to go ahead Hicks. and work on the turtle. Ben Things, though, nice setup. Can they capitalize on it? Gonna be looking for it. Doesn't have the damage just yet. Carl Teasy securing the turtle there. Good setup from Ben Things though, but the damage didn't show up. But it's still a ready battle from there, Carl Teasy. Oh man, you can see that Echo just they they know they, they cover everything, right? You saw that there was already a very good play coming out from Ben Things. And I think that Sanji kind of felt that he is being slowed down. That's maybe they communicated that there should be a Numen Blast incoming. So after the Numen Blast. Yaoi uh, was prepared to cancel the upcoming follow-up coming up from TNC. Surely they cannot stop the ultimate from Escalera, the stolen Dragon 4, but afterwards there wasn't any follow-up. So Echo just covering all of their bases, just crossing their T's and dotting their I's. Well, <laughs> as the people say. Yeah. <laughs> That's how, you that how they say it? That's how they say it. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I say it. <laughs> That's I'm, I'm, I didn't correct you or anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You I got it, you. man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because you, you all went silent. I thought, oh, it's not. You know, I was, <laughs> honestly, I was just admiring the beautiful <laughs> yeah. His skin. voice, yeah. <laughs> That's, well, you're doing a good job, Wolf. Yeah, don't worry. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, right? That's how you inspire us here in the desk. Mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. No, so going back to the game, <laughs> uh, Echo, they're looking, they're looking good on how they rotate onto, uh, onto the goal lane. It's obvious that TNC wants to pressure the goal lane, right? They have a Nathan. Previously on the patch, could be a menace from mid to late game. Oh. But can they prevent it? Yaoi? Yeah, are they going to be able to catch oh, Yaoi here? Oh. Yes, they do. Decimated. Able to grab that kill. King Kong. Put him on the board. Sets themselves up here. They're still going to be looking. Put a little pressure like on the gold lane like you were saying here, Francis. But still, Turtle about 15 seconds away. Next objective in the eyes of TNC. Well, with the CCs that Echo has right now, looking at two purifies on TNC's answer for a possible fail-safe. Well move could actually make it work but let's see how will they make it go against echo so if they take this turtle they could, oh. they could be an advantage but there's one yaoi spots too yeah a lot of flickers there sanford there to help support yaoi didn't go the way he was assuming it would so right now echo should be able to just secure this turtle giving him the second one of the game here unless nope sanford it does secure it now the fight ensues Feathered airstrike gonna come down from Sanji. King Kong finding a kill for himself. They might decide to call it off here. Happy with a kill, but they trade the turtle for a kill. Oh, Echo, um, this is a minor play. It looks really minor, but when when um, Carl Teasy 
let go of the aggro of the turtle. Normally, so what happened was he tried to poke Ben Ting so that uh, they, they are going to make sure that there will be no Numino Blast whatsoever. So the moment Carl TZ saw that the Ben Ting was there, he immediately poked him. And that meant that he will have to let go of the aggro of the turtle. I thought that it will be reset, which will not be in favor of Echo. But what happened was it was Sanji who actually, like, um, uh, what you call it, that, like the like he carried or like he maintained maintained yeah. the aggro of the turtle. Yeah, in the Philippines it's called Salo. I don't know what catch, catch. Yeah, catch yeah. maybe. That's how Echo catches one responsibility yeah. from another. Exactly. It's, it's great to see. Yeah, just imagine how they're all synergized and connected in one mind, like in a uni mind setup. Uni mind. Yeah, Echo. I was <laughs> say, isn't it hive mind? <laughs> oh, well, we can say that. Yeah, Echo. No, uni mind. Uni mind. Okay, okay. We'll go, it's fine. We'll go with Let's uni go mind. With that. Yeah, uni mind. World yeah, champions, uni mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> that that's the synergy play, <laughs> Francis. <laughs> but that works for Echo. But with TNC's items here on the board, they need more time. Especially for Innocent to pop in, right? Tower destroyed down bottom. I say Echo has great control early game, and they will just keep on setting up traps to delay forces of TNC. Let's talk about the winning conditions here for TNC. Like, what? where is the hope for TNC in this matchup? Now, it is a small gold lead for Echo, right? But specifically, TNC, they don't have any objectives yet. Yeah. So as the game transitions, you know, we got one more turtle to handle here. But as the game transitions to that mid-game, where does TNC find yeah. these wins? Is it in Ben Things? Oh, I, I, oh. I think so. Okay, well, right now, that's not going to happen here. Gets punished. Yaoi says you can't wait in that bush. Ben Things falls. Sanford now pushing the members of TNC back here. Makes a beeline mm. for Innocent. Look at the damage. Ooh. He escapes oh, no. just barely. But another turtle secured for Echo. Oh, bad break for Innocent. And you saw that the stolen Dragon Fur did not do well. In fact, it only gave Escarrera a way out, but it didn't give it didn't give TNT a way to actually start the fight, which is unfortunate. Maybe if the... Oh. Again, uh, another one. Whew. They're not finding the openings, unfortunately, for TNT. Then Innocent comes into the middle just to get into the fight, but he caught the tail end of the ultimate of Sanford, then eventually he receives Feather Dare Strike from Sanji, immediately has to back down and... He had to commit the purify for that, and that's a lot of things that TNC the TNC did did not calculate well. It's as if they're giving Echo an easier time in this game. Yeah, with that all being said, TNC is forced to get objectives. TNC is forced to hold these resources, but at such a minimal time to to get back on what was lost in trades. Well, we're we're looking at right now how Benny Cutie goes up top, and how. They respond with Echo's macro game, right? So they keep on laying traps for TNC because they're hungry for objectives. They're hungry to bounce back. But at the same time, it's one of the things that TNC needs to worry about. These small openings that they could actually bounce back by not committing to any uh, team fights that Echo forces in. Right now, it's just a tough situation. Being outclassed with itemization. Oh. Cram, though, Ow. able to get out of dodge, but they lose the turret. Yeah, we going to get punished. King Kong able to get a kill. Ben Thing's not going to land the Numino Blast. So they find a kill here, but still Echo feeling quite confident. Going to wait here patiently around the purple buff of TNC. Reset. King Kong going to know that they're there. Still has to be careful as he approaches it. All for his buff here. Now Benny Cutie going to poke away at King Kong, making him work for that purple buff. Oh, Takes it no. on top of it. Then Acuity secures the purple, not leaving anything to TNT. And this means that Echo will get another economic advantage. Taking out the turret in the middle, it's uh, very important for TNT to keep because they want to farm more. And now, ranked first in the KDA with 7.9, not dying. Ben Acuity, 1 0 and 1. In fact, he kept most of his time just clearing out the waves. <laughs> And because of that, his GPM is off the roof. I think he's, what, 7.1K compared to 6.8K of the opposing marksman. So come yeah. the Lord fight, he's going to be packing up a punch. Yeah, it's all about achieving your goals in-game. That's better cutie for you guys. Echo is really on the higher or upper hand against TNC. You're baiting them to take this. They're baiting TNC, actually, to go inside and contest this Lord because openings are falling into place. And Echo wants this. Yeah, King Kong wants it too. He's actually going to be 
showing his face here to come down to the retribution battle. But look at the backside. They're going to find a cram out of the open. They punish him. TNC down a member now. So an even more dire of a situation to be in. Yowie doing work on this Cho. Signature pick for him. Feathered Airstrike does come down from Sanji. Still Lord Look at Sanford. for the fight. Sanford with the Black Dragon form. Ben thinks charging up. Does find two. But it's a little bit too late because backside. Sanford now looking for Escalera. Finds him. Carl TZ gets the Lord. And they, fought, they still fight it out for King Kong. King Kong still eventually going to go down here. It's a three versus one. Gets a kill, though. Sanji does fall. But still, Echo in charge of this game. Now waiting for that Lord. Oh, Innocent, another tough break for him. Because Sanford, when he jumped in, and Innocent knows Ooh. that he that only needs to hold his ground and pop the Purify to, uh, to remove that stun and eventually just survive the combo coming out from Sanford with the Petrify. And then he wanted to fight. Unfortunately, what Sanford did was to transfer to the opposite side of the wall that you see right now, the spawn of the Rock Urza. Mm -hmm. So it was instead of the opposite and left side, and onto the right side, it was eventually Sanford. So Sanford wasn't punished. The plan for TNC was to punish the Yuzhong going to the back lines, but because of that wall and how smartly Sanford played that, it did not allow TNC to recover from that. It's true. The zone out of Sanford didn't give way for Innocent to give that free hit in the back line of Echo. So if, t if in the mindset of TNC, they would want to be in that back line defense. They want to penetrate that defense of Echo has. Because right now, look at this. Poking down the Feather Eric down oh. to the members of TNC. Yawi again with the way of the Dragon. Finding the mark. It's Cram that falls. Still a member down Echo on the assault here. Going to go ahead and get that inhibitor turret mid side down. Now their eyes set on the top side, working their way. It's only 12 minutes in the game here, and they are punishing TNC. Can TNC hold on a little bit longer? But look at that. Again and again, Yaoi finding the sets he needs. Yeah, in the scale of Benny Cutie, look how fast he melts down turrets. Ooh. Scary. I think he picked up the Golden Staff and the um, feather, feather of Heaven, which means the attack speed is so high. For this, um, for 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 this uh, Nathan, and we know that he attacks twice. So yeah, there you go. Wow. Two attack speed items, and of course a lot of uh, penetration from oh. the boots as well as the divine glaive. There's wait, he's gonna be melting down people, and he okay, that's not festival blood. Don't worry, he went for mystery can, shop. Can Yao be spotted by just having the ultimate of uh, Escalera onto his? Did, did they know in, in the bush? No, I think they just. Uh they check that bush collectively here. Now they're going to be working on Carl Tizi. Yawi on the backside looking for oh Innocent. No. Does find him, but no one there to back him up. Gets away oh. the dragon. Here comes Sanford, though, to help out. Yawi, look at that. He's alive. Sanford in the perfect position, but King Kong takes out Yawi with the decimate. Two down, though, for TNC. King Kong on the run. Can he get out of dodge? Escalera there to help him out. Benny Cutie, though. Comes in with a killing spree, and that could be it. TNC holding on the best they can, but it's not enough. Echo still loud and proud, ending the series in a sweep. They're just way too good in this game. You can see that only Yaoi was the one that all constantly dies in this game. But before he falls down, he makes sure that he gets a lot of kills for his team. Four, three, and three for the Cho. Out of the 12 kills that they got. And Carl Tizi just played this so easily. Two, zero, and seven. No worries at all for the jungler. A clean sweep, loud and proud, as you hear the drums in our microphones. That's just the world champs completely on a streak. Well, never, they never lost this momentum in week three. And completely answering all the mistakes. There was a glimmer of hope. But they did not let that happen in taking that to game number three. But the sportsmanship still lives on against DNC. It's, it's kind of weird, right? Because from game one, and then, you know, you see this game two, it, it seemed very grim for yeah. TNC in this one, right? And, and this was against, I feel like, the comfort of Echo. And, you know, we especially, you give Echo, you give Yaoi a Cho, you, 